In the south of Chile is one of the most fascinating mountain regions on earth, the Torres del Paine National Park in Patagonia. The diverse variety of landscapes here is captivating, a harmonic union of rock, ice and water, the ideal habitat for the indigenous wildlife that lives in the southern regions of South America. varied landscapes have made the 72,000 square kilometer park a unique habitat, a pure and unspoiled world. Crooked trees and strangely shaped trunks create a truly magical atmosphere. And the local flora extends from rare orchids to more common bushes and shrubs. Suddenly, there's a spectacular view, the Lago Grey. This lake is famous for the mighty ice of a nearby glacier, the Glacier Grey. The glacier in the northern section of the Lago Grey has left visible traces, not only on the land, but also in the water in the form of huge ice floes. During the last ice age, a thick layer of ice covered the whole of Patagonia. Only the highest summits appeared above the ice. At the time of the sheep estancias, horses were the most important means of transport for the caballeros in this remote part of Chile. Sheep have been banned from the national park and now totally unspoiled landscapes have returned, as is also the case in the Lago del Toro. Around the lake, the plant life is quite enthralling. The color of the blossom is in stark contrast to the ice of the glaciers. And in the light of the setting sun, the Lago del Toro is like a scene from a magnificent work of art. Wind, water, ice and rock, each has formed this landscape over millions of years and created scenery that is totally unique. Unpredictable weather here that can change from sunshine to hailstorm and from hot to cold in just a few minutes presents a major challenge to walkers. With impressive mountain scenery as its background, the Salto Grande plunges down with a thunderous roar in several cascades into Lake Pohoe below. The path to the Salto Grande waterfall travels through a paradise-like flower garden. The plants here are almost as famous as the mountains. In spring and early summer, the landscape is full of splendid blossom that is blown by strong winds. The transformation between two different landscapes, the Argentinian Pampas and the Magellan Forests, is plain to see in the Torres del Paine National Park. Climatically, Patagonia is the only moderately cool area in the Southern Hemisphere, a fact well known by walkers here.
The raw power of the untamed, white foaming water that rushes by is real evidence of the natural forces that manifest themselves here in the center of the park. The current of the Rio Paine is so strong in this section that to fall in here would mean almost certain death. The might of the waterfalls is quite awesome. The Salto Grande represents the connection of two lakes, the Lago Nordenskjöld in the north of the park and the more southerly Lago Pahoe. On the banks of Lago Pahoe is a wonderful, magical forest with gnarled trees that must withstand the powerful winds of this region. The variations in form of the old and weather-beaten trees is almost without limit. Close by is an extraordinary rock wall Large steps have been cut into the rock. They were not created by man, but by the force of nature. There are around 145 species of bird in the park, including a large number of rare waterfowl that are threatened by extinction. Guanacos that can be seen in many sections of the park, prefer open grassland. They're also to be found in the higher regions. They live in families that usually comprise up to 15 members. The marvelous wilderness provides wildlife with a perfect habitat, free from threat. Further north of the Lago Pahoe, surrounded by steep, rocky slopes, is yet another picturesque lake, Lago Nordenskjöld. Its name is unusual for the region, yet seems to be appropriate, as much of it resembles a Scandinavian fjord. The shining colors of more than 400 species of blossoming plant life are truly breathtaking. From the Lago Nordenskjöld, there's a wonderful view of the park's natural landmark, the 2,500 meter high Torres del Paín. Guanacos are always on their guard. The up to one and a half meter long puma roams the park silently and almost unseen. Here the natural world of Patagonia is, despite slight encroachment by man, as pure and untouched as it was thousands of years ago. In the deepest south of the South American continent, this paradise-like wilderness lives on. Truly one of the most wonderful mountain regions on earth, the National Park Torres del Paine.